In today's video, we're going to talk about how to interact with iframes in Selenium Python. So first, I'm going to tell you what iframes are, show you some examples of iframe, and then show you some code that we can use to interact with iframes. So the first thing is, what are iframes? So iframes are basically the structure in your uh, code, um, basically in your HTML code. And iframes allow the insertion of a document from an entirely different domain and are still commonly used. Um, Selenium Web Drivers interacts with the web elements in iframes uh, by using these lines of code driver.switch2.frame, and then you have your web element. Or you can do driver.switch2.frame, and then you can insert the ID. You can also leave your frame. So after entering a frame, you can leave that frame. And what you do is you just do driver.switch2.default content. And so, for example, right here, I have the website hotels.com open right here. And we see that Hotels.com and many other sites, they also use the iframe structure. For example, we see that they have this iframe structure right here in their HTML code. They have also iframe right here as well. And then iframe down here as well as their HTML code. And this is Hotels.com. But in our example today, I've actually created um, some code um, using our local host. And I'm hosting this on our own computer right now. And basically, in this web page, what we have is we have um, the iframes uh, right here. So we have um, everything inside this box right here is an iframe. Uh, and then everything outside, like this text box here and this link right here, it's outside of the iframe. And we're going to interact with this web page in our example today. So if I right click this, for example, and I click inspect, we see that we have um, iframe right here. And this iframe contains everything above this box right here. And so uh, let's begin and write some code first. So right here, I have our code that we have from previously. Um, and this is just the project that we're building upon throughout our Python Selenium videos. Uh, in today's video, we're not going to build off of the previous video's knowledge, but I'm just going to use the same directory. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the test directory right here and let's create a new file. So a Python file. And again, we're gonna name it test underscore selenium. And today we're gonna name it iframe. Uh, dot, uh, iframe. And again, uh, we're using test underscore selenium as the beginner of this uh, file name because this is what we need to call it for um, PyTest. But before we do anything, let's start by importing some statements. Uh, so some import statements. Um, so first thing we're going to import is time and then we're going to import um, by from the web driver. After we do that, let's begin our code. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a uh, one function and this is going to be test one and we'll, we're going to pass in Chrome. And the reason we're able to pass in Chrome and what Chrome is, is we basically defined it in comp test right here. And Chrome is basically this right here. And this is basically a web driver Chrome instance. And that's what we're passing to here. So we have that uh, right here. And let me do this. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our URL. And since uh, we're doing, we're using the local host URL that we, we made, uh, I'm going to paste that. And this is just localhost 5000. After that, Let's uh, sleep for three seconds, and this allows every element on the web page to load up. And then let me uh, try to, we're going to try to find an image. So for instance, we're going to say image, and we're going to try to find it by its X path. And again, how do you get your X path? Well, let's go back to our web page here. Uh, for example, you can just uh, inspect that element. And then once you get to here, you can right click, and then you can copy, and then you can copy X path right here. And that's what we're going to do here. And that's what I pasted right here. Um, after that, what we're going to say is we're going to tell it to click the image. And what this should do is after you click this image, it should load up a new web page. Uh, and we're going to see what happens after we click it. And then we're going to sleep it for three seconds. Uh, and then we're going to um, try to find another element. So we're going to define something else called button two. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to paste that over. Um, so 
we're going to define button two. And that's basically something else on the web page. So it's this uh, thing. And we're going to click that button uh, as well um, after we go to the new web page. And then we're going to sleep for two seconds again. Um, and then we'll see what happens. So let me go ahead and run this. Um, give it some time to run. Uh, it opens up on the other browser. So I'm going to drag that over. But I'll, I'll full screen this. Uh, and it's trying to click. And it's saying that there's no such element. And this is problematic because um, sometimes when you're working with iframe and you paste the XPath here, you're, you're not able to access it. So how you can get around this is we have to recognize that the elements, uh, this image and this button, uh, this image in particular, is within the iframe. And so in order to access the image, we're going to first have to define the iframe as find element, and we're going to say by.css selector. And then what we can do is we can uh, state the iframe. And so uh, let me paste that. So that's the iframe. And then after you define the iframe, we can actually switch to the iframe using chrome.switch to uh, uh, frame. And then we can just state the iframe. And with that, we can access every element inside the iframe. And so if I run this again, and I drag this window over, maximize it so I can see everything on the window, um, and give it some time, we see it clicks the image and it pops up this new thing on this page and it clicks another button. And uh, yeah, so we see that the test pass. Now that's great. Uh, now let's do something else. So after right here, after we click the second button, why don't we try something else? Let's try to uh, let's try to um, let's try to um, um, let's try this. We'll define text equals to Chrome. We'll define text and we'll make that equals to Chrome dot find underscore element, and we're gonna use by is equal to. Uh, by dot xpath and then we'll use the value is equal to um, and I'm just going to paste this over so I don't mess up by accident and we'll just paste that and this is what the value is equal to so we'll try to find that element and then what we'll do is we'll tell it text dot clear and we'll tell it to clear the element and then what we'll do is we'll tell it to send keys underscore keys and it'll be selenium python test and then we'll get it to sleep three seconds and uh, we'll see what happens so sleep three seconds and let me run this again uh, let me drag this window over maximize it so it opens this up and then basically uh, it's not able to find this element and the reason being is because what we did with our web page originally is we clicked this button and then we clicked here and then we're trying to tell it to clear everything right here and then enter some text but we're not able to do it and again this comes back to the idea of iframes because this element is outside of the iframe so in access uh, in order to access that element what you have to do is you have to say let's leave this iframe and look at everything else instead now so switch to dot default content and now by running this we switched out of the iframe so let me run this again uh, drag this over maximize this it clicks the button and then what it'll do we'll let it run it clears it and then it sends this into the keys and there we go so that's what we have so it shows you that we have to switch out of the, out of the iframe in order to access those elements. Let's run one more test. Uh, we'll call this test two uh, and I'll define it. Uh, and in this one, again, we'll pass Chrome. Um, and let me do chrome.get and then we'll go to the same local host website. So actually, let me just copy this. And then I'll do that and then we'll sleep for three seconds once we get there and then after that 
um, let's um, try to access some other elements. So uh, let me paste this. Uh, let me try to access these elements right here. Uh, let's see what happens. Drag this over, maximize it so we can see. It's trying to access the elements and it's not able to and it fails. Yeah, so again, like we did previously, this comes back to the idea of iframes again. So we're just going to do chrome.switch2 dot frame uh, and then we'll do home right right here uh, and then that's what we have right here uh, and now if I run this again this should work so I'm gonna go ahead and drag this over and yeah there we go it works I'll close the window and it passes okay so let me uh, do the other one um, and this time, let's uh, try to find an element and click on it again. So this time, we're going to try to find this golf button and click on the golf. So this is just, uh, if I go back here, oops, uh, if I go back, uh, this is just this button right here. So go ahead and try to click that. So I'll run this again. Uh, maximize this. It'll look for the golf button. And it fails to find the golf button. And yeah, if uh, you get the theme by now, you guessed it. It's because we're still inside the iframe. And so what we can do is we can do chrome.switch to dot default content. And now we'll be outside of the iframe. And now let's uh, time dot sleep. We'll give it three seconds. And let's try to run this again. Let me drag this window over, maximize it for us. And now it clicks the golf button and then goes to the golf course, as we see, and everything passed. So yeah, so that's today's video. We showed you two main concepts, how to switch into the iframe and how to switch out of the iframe. And you just really have to recognize if your element that you're trying to access is inside the iframe or outside the iframe. And in the second example, we switched out into the iframe using just the ID. And in the first example, we switched into the iframe using its CSS selector. And then we can switch out of the iframe just using the chrome.switch2.default content. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.